introduction to python so we are going to start a new chapter today that is a uh, python before proceed with this chapter you have to know about a few things like uh, programming language and why do we need a programming language Pro programming language are a set of syntax and rules through which we can instruct a computer to do any work or any task as we know computer understand only machine languages and we understand human language so we have to instruct the computer in a machine language that things we can do by using a programming language there are many programming languages available like c c++ java cobol python etc here we are going to learn about python python is a high level programming language and it's a work on it is an interpreter based programming language now some question may arise in your program what is an interpreter there are two type of language translator interpreter and compiler while you are translating the program into machine language using compiler your whole program will compile in at once but if you are converting your program or translating your program using an interpreter then it will translate line, uh, line by line so the python is called as interpreter based programming language because while we are translating the python program it's convert line by line after this chapter you will able to, uh, you will able to learn the features of python writing and executing a simple program in python how to use the python shell or python gui or ideally whatever you say operators in python variables in python and so on so let's uh, start with the chapter introduction python is a high level programming language which is open source and object oriented open source means anyone can edit or modify the code the source code of python anyone with good programming knowledge can edit the source of the python and we don't have to pay any license fee for using python languages for example while we are using c sharp we have to pay something to microsoft because it is a paid language but if we are going to use python we don't have to pay anything and it is an object oriented now if you continue with uh, if you study computer science in higher classes then you will learn about object oriented what is an object oriented programming in object oriented programming we can reuse some uh, part of code again and again means we can uh, save time by reusing the part of programs python was developed by gaido van rossum in 1991 and at presently it is owned by python software foundation python is an interactive language with simple syntax that allow developer to write robust program easily and efficiently anyone can learn python in very short time like some programming languages c java their syntax is very hard there you have to follow brackets comma semicolon and all but these things are not here in python python is very simple just using simple english you can write a complete python program and in very short period of time you can learn python now it is uh, python is the most popular programming language because it is very easy to learn and write python is an interpreter based scripting language which can be used for to create web based applications to handle large amount of data to perform complex calculations to connect database system and read and modify files here are some features of python some important features of python are python source code is freely available it's already uh, available on the internet so you can download the source code and if you want any modification or if you want any new features in python you can write yourself uh, the second one is it loosely type object oriented programming language with few keywords and simple english like structure therefore easy to learn it is a loosely typed means in some programming languages like c and c++ we have to follow uh, the programming within brackets uh, semicolons the proper structure have to be followed but in python we don't have to do that just like a simple english language we can write the program and it is very easy to learn 
its support GUI. You can easily get a GUI translator or GUI interpreter to write Python program through which we can easily download or uh, easily write Python programs and run it on our computer, writing and executing commands in Python. To write any command in Python or to write any program in Python, we have to download Python IDE or IDLE. First, we have to download the Python in our computer. By default, Python is not available in our computer. So if you want to write the Python, first of all, you have to download the Python in your computer. You can search uh, Python in Google and from the official link, you can download the Python. For uh, writing Python program, there are different uh, IDE available. Some of them are Microsoft uh, Visual Studio Code, Anaconda, PyCharm, Python IDLE, etc. Python IDLE is a uh, graphical or GUI based interpreter through which you can write and run Python programs. We will uh, discuss about Python cells and operator in Python variable in Python in next class for today's class this much only. See you in next class. Till then. Take care and bye.